you like to go next? All right, it is 7.45. We overslept our alarm by an hour and a half. And now we are going for a five mile run instead of a hike on the Geishton Lake Trail. And we're off to Smithers for an oil change. Hi. Hi. How's your run? It was good. A little brushy, a little moosey. A little moosey. I'll, I'll probably have some cuts on my ankles. All the fresh thorns are about this high up off the ground. So. But we made it to Geishton Lake. We've done it. Where's Barley? Into water. There he is. Oh my gosh, look at the reflection on this lake, Jason. Running away from Uncle Barley with it. A wet tiny grizzly. It's a six bear kind of day. So we have driven the entirety of the Caribou Highway, and how many Caribou have we seen? None. Not a single one. We're gonna bill Justin Trudeau for all of our gas. Yes. I want to refund Canada. Barley, why do you look so sad? It is Thursday, June 2nd. It feels early in the morning, but it's not. It's We've been really struggling to go to bed on time because at like 11.30 last night it was still light out. Um, we are parked just outside Stewart, Alaska, and the plan is to spend the morning exploring the boardwalk and going to see the giant spruce, and then I have a call at noon with... Um, Karen Pryor Clicker Training Academy for a Live from the Ranch with Ken Ramirez. Uh, then we're going to drive back out towards Medizidian Junction and stop at a glacier on the way. We'll leave the dogs in the car because we saw seven bears on the highway yesterday. And um, Jason and I are going to go out and try to try to go look at this glacier. Um, and then I have another call that we'll take from Medizidian Junction. And then we're going to head on out to Iskit today. All right, I'm all done with my work call. Wi-Fi at the uh, Stewart um, Visitor Center was great, so it went really well. Now, pulling on some shorts really quick. We're gonna try to run to a glacier before my next meeting. I'll bring my phone, um, but I'm not bringing the nice camera. We're going light and fast. Bear spray, no dogs. Tell us where we're going, Jason. We're going to a glacier. Why? Because it looks cool and we can. Yeah, exactly. What do you got in Bed your back? Rocks sponsor us. <laughs> Bed rocks sponsor us. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. His beauty. His grace. It's getting a little cold. No. Okay. Okay. I'm not throwing your bag though. I took all the electronics. Careful. That bird smells like a bone, right? Uh, 
that's where we're trying to go. I was just curious if you could take the call on LTE, if there was or not. If there's cell service, but I don't think there's service in Mesiaden. Okay. Um, yeah. So this is what we're looking at. We're a little bit cliffed out here. And we've still got, what, maybe a quarter kilometer to actually get to the glacier. And we're four or five minutes now past when I was supposed to turn around in order to make it to my call. So this might be our turnaround point. All right, Jason's gonna go for it. He said he's gonna take video. And I'm gonna go back because I'm the slower one. So I'll go back and get the boys buttoned down and we'll start the way back. Uh, sorry, Glacier, I wanted to say hi. Jason, be safe. And back I go. Found a really cool rock. So it's coming with me. This was not the bear problem I was anticipating. Oh yeah, she's coming down towards the car. <laughs> we are like 10 feet away from the car. Taking the alternate route back to the vehicle because of the grizz. Jason's got the bear spray. If I die, I guess I die filming. He... Hey, bear. hey bear! Huh, I don't see her at all. Yeah, there she is. There she is. Grizz. She seems peaceable enough. Unlock the vehicle. And get in the vehicle. Bye, bear. All right, we are about halfway between Meziadin Junction and Iskit, and Jason spotted our first moose of the trip. So we pulled over to get a better look at it, and now we've decided to stop and make some dinner. So what we've got going on back here, the boys eat Purina Pro Plan Performance. So Niffler's already got his poured out. Barley's is here. Barley gets a little bit less than half as much as Niffler. And then Niffler's, um, he's a little bit picky. He doesn't always like eating. So his is also mixed with some Merrick grain-free bone broth. He gets something interesting added to his meal most of the time. And as you can see, he's not super eager to eat. Um, but he generally will by the time we go. Barley, meanwhile, is always starving to death. And is just gonna hork it down at top speed. Some Annie's mac and cheese. With sriracha and peas. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, it's very windy. Oh, windy. <laughs> it's whole heads in there. <laughs> it looks like a horse eating out of a grain bag. I uh... know. And even though they get along nicely and share pretty well, we like feeding them high value stuff separately. <laughs> Making sure we don't have any dog fights in such a small space. So for the last I don't know, six months, Saga's back door has not been wanting to close. So it'll look like it's closed, but you can fit fingers in here. Clearly not, clearly not properly closed. We do have this kind of like, I backed into a pole here. <laughs> Whoops. Um, and sometimes it seems like if you kind of fiddle with this stuff that it'll get back in alignment and it'll close but it won't close the next time. Jason thought that if you kind of lifted the door as you pushed it in that was the trick. Yeah we've had like five We've had like ten different hypotheses. Or like if you if you push this door and then close this one then it closes. Or and that like, works like twice. Or and if then you're like downhill yeah. you know, like that works. That does seem to work usually. Yeah that does. The downhill seems to be the most consistent trick. Yeah. But we have no idea what's wrong. We're like waking up the whole Iskit Valley. 
And what's annoying is, is like Niffler's crate is right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here, that's Niffler's crate right here. So when we, we're trying to close it up to get him ready to go or to get all of us ready to go, and he's in his nice crash proof crate. We're just slamming this door in his face over and over and over again. Hey, you want to try to close it? <laughs> sure, this isn't going to work once you leave. I know, but... Do you, here, do you want me to put the... No. No, okay. That was worse. Yeah. Yeah. Let me try. cracking and also so that has been the other thing it's pretty consistently for a while it was that one of these bolts was loose or missing and this problem has gotten worse since we took that bolt out that is true we need to fix that yeah you want to do that tonight yeah do you know where it is yeah it's in the cup holder yeah. what we'll have to do is jb weld the bolt on there okay let's do it So many mosquitoes. They're fucking huge too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. JB Weld. All right. What do you need? The ah, fucking wrench. This isn't gonna work because <laughs> it needs to be held tight like that. You know what I'm saying? And with that attached. Yeah. You know, get my dad to do it. I can yeah, that's wait a, that long. I mean, they use. Yeah. I remember when I was in Canada mm -hmm. over the Great Lakes, they were so fucking bad. Ah, that was my finger. Walk that off. <laughs> that really hurt. Yeah, are you okay? Yeah, it just hurt. Huh? Drive.